Hey everyone. Gimbals and motion control systems are great tools for upping your production value with silky smooth, stable camera movement for interview cutaways, B-roll, and product shots. Now, if you're watching this video, then like me, you've probably done some research or purchased a gimbal, motion control system, or maybe even both. Ever since buying my first gimbal about three years ago, I have become a little obsessed with how to get the same smooth motion in my slider and dolly shots. And it's taken me on a dizzying journey exploring popular motion control systems from companies like Edelchrome, Syrup, Rhino, Emoto, and others. Now, all of these platforms look amazing and each have their own unique strengths and some limitations. Honestly, I was so close to hitting that buy button more than once, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it for a few reasons. One, I wanted flexible tools that could work on different sliders and dollies. Now, most of these systems require that your slider, motion control, and accessories all come from the same company and that they only work together. Second, motion control systems are pretty expensive, and if I was going to also invest in a gimbal, the combined cost for getting that silky smooth footage really started adding up, making it a bit challenging for me to justify the payback for the kinds of videos that I create. And finally, gimbal technology has come a long, long way since my first gimbal. They're now a lot smarter with smartphone apps, camera integration, programmable time-lapse mode, keyframe-based tracking, and now even autonomous subject tracking. Gimbals are beginning to mirror or surpass the features of other motion control systems, and all in a package that you can just pick up and move with. So when DJI announced the Ronin Yaris 2 with the RavenEye and ActiveTrack 3.0, I thought to myself, hey, is this it? Can I connect the RS2 to something like a Syrup linear drive with an old slider to create a motion control system that gives me the flexibility I need, the shots I want, and on a budget that makes sense? Well, the second camera cutaway shots that you're watching right now have been using the DJI RS2 and the RavenEye in this exact setup. So let's have a look at that. For this setup, I've mounted the Syrup linear to my old trusty Rhino slider and then mounted the Ronin RavenEye combo to the Syrup just using the quarter 20 thread on the bottom of the handle with a Sony FS5 balanced nicely on the RS2. The second FS5 is my main camera and it's mounted here on a tripod. With the exception of the gimbal, this is my typical two camera interview setup. Now for the selfie cutaway shots, I selected myself for active track using the iOS app and set up the linear to just ping pong between two points. Now when shooting someone else, I don't need to use the app. I can simply use the screen on the gimbal to select my subject for active track. I found that setting active track sensitivity to about 20 works great with about a two second ease in and out on the syrup linears endpoints. Now I'm just using the famously bad autofocus on the FS5 to keep me in focus. But what about using this combo for lovely speed ramped parallax product shots? Well, it seems to work great for those shots using the same active track setup. If your camera doesn't have autofocus and you've purchased the DJI focus controller, you could also use the keyframe track mode in the DJI app and set the keyframes that match the position of your slider and the focus distance to your subject at different points along the slider's path. This works, although my experience with this technique has been a little hit and miss in that it requires some time to get the gimbal and the slider set up in perfect sync. I've got a lot more experimenting to do with this combination, and I hope you found this somewhat helpful in your quest for those epic smooth shots. If you did, hit the subscribe button and get notification when I post my next video. And as always, we'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.